Traditional charities have failed to stop the violence and corruption killing wildlife. Our operations secure major national parks overrun with poaching on the brink of collapse. Working with parks authorities, we are all that stands between the elephant and the poacher. And our enemy is often sophisticated, armed and dangerous. The elephant, rhino and lion massacre is one of the great tragedies of our time. National parks are, by definition, the last legally protected sanctuaries for African wildlife. As custodians of this planet, we all have a responsibility to stop this from happening. The slaughter of 50% of all wildlife on Earth is a tragic blight on humanity. Climate change and species extinction are the planet's biggest challenges. We have to accept that conservation has failed. National Park Rescue runs direct action rescue operations, saving wildlife on the front line in Africa's most dangerous protected areas. We save dying national parks, training and organizing rangers to defend wildlife effectively. I would like to express government's profound gratitude. Without you, I am not sure where the only national park was going to be. From the park's poorest communities, we employ male and female ranger teams and we reward bravery by supporting families, paying medical bills and putting rangers' kids through school. We restore park roads and buildings, battle poachers' fires, destroy thousands of snares killing animals and pretend to be ivory buyers to catch the dangerous trafficking gangs who are emptying Africa of its wildlife. Mankind's destruction of nature causes global warming, mass extinction and pandemics. SARS, Ebola, AIDS, Corona and others all began with wildlife poaching. Our rescue operations restore effective security, provide poverty alleviation and stop the people destroying our natural world.